Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R350 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on BIOS. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R350 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video is a pretty quick and simple video. What we're gonna do is show you how to update the BIOS on your R350 server. Now, I will say the way that we're gonna do this does not require an uh, OS. All you're gonna need is a USB drive and we're going to download an EFI file and then simply put it onto our R350. However, this is not the actual way I would recommend to update your BIOS. This is if you're in a quick pinch and you don't have an OS on your system. Uh, this is more for honestly some of their marketing guys or someone that just needs to get rid of an old system. They've already migrated their OS. Um, what uh, we recommend is actually called mass updates. Uh, we'll do that in two videos from now in the series where we're gonna update the BIOS, the firmware, the onboard diagnostics, plus a ton of other stuff all at one time. And it's a great way that we recommend as far as updating your BIOS. So, but let's go ahead and hop in and show you how to do it this way. All right, so what we're gonna do now is show you how to update the BIOS step-by-step -step instructions for your 15th gen server. So the way we're gonna do it is if you do not have an operating system, this is just a quick and easy way to update your BIOS, assuming that you don't have a hard drive or maybe you don't have a network connection. This will only require a USB thumb drive and a computer that does have internet access. All right, so now we're gonna download the BIOS EFI file. So in order to do this, we are gonna head over to dell.com and we're gonna hover over the support tab and click support home from the drop down menu. Now we're gonna scroll down to identify your product or search support. Type in the model of your server and select the one with power edge in front. Now we're gonna head over to the drivers and downloads tab under the drop down for operating system, we are gonna select not applicable. Under the drop down for category, we're gonna select BIOS. The download button for the BIOS update will be for an EXE file, which is only gonna run in Windows. What we want is an EFI file, so what we need to do is click the drop down arrow that's to the right of the download button. Then we're gonna to navigate to other formats and download the EFI file. So locate the EFI file that we just downloaded and simply move it over to the USB. You can just drag it over and that's all you have to do. All right, now that we have our EFI file downloaded onto our USB, we just need to pop the USB into our 15 gen server and boot your server back up. During the post, we wanna hit F11 and enter the boot manager. Select System Utilities in the Boot Manager. Select BIOS Update File Explorer in System Utilities. Select the USB drive in the BIOS Update File Explorer. Now you're gonna actually see the EFI file. You're gonna to want to select the EFI file to start the BIOS update. So this is temporarily going to check the BIOS image. This may take a few minutes to do, so we like to fast forward through this part of the video not to waste anyone's time. But what will pop up is the next screen will show you that the BIOS update has started, and when it starts, it's gonna show you your current BIOS version and it's gonna show you the BIOS version that you are upgrading or updating to. You're gonna to want to select continue BIOS update in order to proceed. Now do note that your system may take a few minutes before it allows you the opportunity to select the continue button. Do not worry, this delay is normal. Uh, it's just part of the process. Your system is updating the BIOS so it will take a few minutes in the background for everything to get done. And if you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built servers, we do Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco. We'd love the opportunity to earn your home lab or your data center's business. We also do new and we do use. Please email us at sales at cloudinitiative.com. That's sales at cloudinitiative.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys.